It's a cruel world after all. It's a cruel world after all. It's a cruel world after all. It's a cruel, 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 cruel world. This is not a drum. It is an affectation. I've been going the wrong way for a long time. It's sort of a reverse commute. I've got a vacation home in Ghana. Back to Africa. Everyone else was buying homes in France and Portugal. I chose to re-immigrate to my ancestral homeland. Keeping it real. Michael Jackson suggested it. <laughs> You might think it's strange that I would take the advice on the dignity of negritude from a man who was born black and died white. <laughs> and while this journey may seem ethnically authentic, it's really a case of that common ailment, mental colonialism.
Did I tell you the time Michael Jackson called me and said, Todd, I want you. I want you to be my personal photographer. Das war Michael Jackson, Don't Stop, bis du genug bekommen auf Deutsche Beliebter Radio. Wir haben ein ganzes Stück von Michael Jackson auf dich bereut, so das nicht zu wählen. Das ist Deutsche Beliebter Radio, wo folgt Hit auf Hit. That was another bonzer for your dilly bag, come all yank cover, Michael Jackson, Don't Stop till you get enough, sage words from old Jacko. On Aussie Old Pop Radio. That request goes out to a fine Jillaru in Wagga Wagga. That's in New South Wales for all you drongos out there. We have an entire hour chalkers with Michael Jackson, so don't touch that dial. This is Aussie Old Pop Radio. Nothing scary, just the hits, man. The problem was, though, I didn't want to do it. You wanted to shoot Patty Smith, the Clash. Elvis Costello, <laughs> Michael Jackson was just He's too black. You'd rather be working for the Osmonds. I don't know why I was chosen. But you'd worked with him before. Yeah, from the pack, a group of photographers. But Is you were the chosen one. So the first time I shot Michael Jackson was at Disneyland. It was Michael and Vincent Price. I don't know what scared me more. <laughs> Life is full of irony. Just make polls and then you'll see. Life is full of irony. I'm going to Disneyland. Mind what you wish for. The last time I was at Disneyland, I got kicked out of the park. <laughs> My son was seven and still loved those characters. Donald Duck wasn't so nice, though. He put out his hand for my son to shake and conked him on the head. First, my son laughed. Second time, not so funny. Third time, just plain me. So I got after him. Take off that goddamn fucking mouse head, because I'm going to kick you up with people's ass. <laughs> Well, my imitation of a scary black man was pretty convincing. <laughs> Immediately, security appeared from nowhere. They rushed us through a hidden door, <laughs> then down a secret tunnel. There was a bright light. My son was crying. It was the parking lot. <laughs> So, I'm on a journey, back to the park. Why am I not enthusiastic? This is good for my career. Why was the scene so beneath me? Because I didn't want to be chosen just because I was black.